Hello everybody and welcome to your seventh R tutorial video. In this video I'm going to continue with vectors and I'm going to show you how to combine and slice vectors. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to start by creating a couple of vectors. First I'm going to make a girls vector using the concatenate function which we used uh, in lesson four, I believe. Okay. And I'm going to make a boys vector. And I'm going to go ahead and send it to the console. Okay, so we have two vectors. And I'm using the concatenate function like I used uh, a few lessons ago. Now, let's say that I wanted to combine these two vectors into one. The uh, easiest way to do that in this situation is to simply use the concatenate function again and instead and instead of putting individual entries within the concatenate function I put the names of the vectors themselves so I'll go ahead and do that and then I'll speak a little bit about it this might be a little bit confusing because what we used the concatenate function for before is we took individual entries put them within parentheses applied the concatenate function and that created a vector but down here, what we're doing now to create the everyone vector is we're putting vectors themselves as the arguments and putting them together. So let's see what the actual results are within the uh, within uh, the everyone vector. Go ahead and type it out, send it to the console. Okay, so it did exactly what we want, but it might be a little bit confusing what's actually going on here. Uh, what What's going on is that concatenate function is very flexible regarding what arguments it can take. It can take individual entries and it can also take individual vectors as well. If I had, for example, I'm going to create an everyone2 vector and using the concatenate function. If I were to type this, each of the uh, entries individually, well, I get the exact same result as combined into two vectors as above. So the, every, the second everyone vector looks exactly the same as the everyone vector that I used above. So if you have several vectors that you've created already and you want to create uh, and you want to combine them in one bigger vector, you can use the concatenate function there as well. You don't have to continue to use uh, to type in the entries individually. Okay, so that's how we combine smaller vectors together to create one big vector. But let's say we want to take a piece of information out of a vector. How do we do that? Well, the typical notation to use in R is to use brackets to extract a particular piece of data. Let's say, and we'll, I'll continue to use the everyone vector, let's say I wanted to extract the second entry of that everyone vector, in this case, Sierra. So what I do in R is it's very simple. I type everyone like this left square bracket and I put a 2 and here is completed it for me but I would do a right bracket as well and when I send that to the console well it returns Sierra that's a, that's uh, that's what I want let's say I wanted everything except Sierra the notation that you use in R is well it's very similar to before every one left bracket but if I want to exclude a particular entry I'll type negative 2 enter and you can see that everything except Sierra has been included so if I want uh, if I want to exclude a particular entry I just take that position and make it negative well if I want to exclude one entry or or only pull out one entry that's great but what if I want to uh, pull out multiple entries or exclude multiple entries how do I do that well it's very easy to do that in R2 the notation is very very similar I use the square brackets as well. Now what I can put inside here instead is a vector itself. So let's say I wanted to pull out Juliet and Romeo out of this everyone vector. So what I do is I use the concatenate function and I create a vector. Now let's think for a moment what I, ex what I actually want to pull out here. I want to pull out the first entry and the third entry. So my vector is going to be 1, 3, 1, 3. And I'll send that to the console, and you can see 
uh, it's exa it pulled out exactly what I wanted to. The first entry, the third entry, Juliet, Romeo. Let's say I wanted to pull out the information with Romeo first and Juliet second. All I would need to do in that situation is reverse the number, reverse the order uh, of the vector on the inside. So I, if I wanted the third one first, I put that three in the first spot. And if I want one second, I put that in the second spot, send it to the console, and you can see down there I have Romeo and Juliet in that particular order. Okay, let's say I wanted to create a vector that excluded Romeo and Juliet. How would I do that? Well, very similar to what I did up above, where I had the negative numbers when I wanted to exclude Sierra. Well, let's try to do the same thing and create a vector, but create a vector with negative numbers. So negative one, comma, negative three. And before we send this, let's think about what this is gonna do. Well, our vector on the inside has negative one, negative three. What we wanna do is exclude the first entry, Juliet, and the third entry, Romeo. The result that we wanna see is Sierra and Oscar. And let's see if that's the result that we get. Send it to the console. Yes, it excluded Juliet, it excluded Romeo, and it gave us Sierra and Oscar. So there are, so there you have it. There's some basic information on how to combine vectors, how to slice vectors up. There's tons of different ways to manipulate vectors in R, but that's just enough to get you started. So I'll leave it there for now, and I'll see you guys next time where I'll talk a little bit more about vectors.